As we get into breaking news this morning, just into our newsroom in the last 30 minutes, the Washington Post out with a new article showing graphic images of the devastation caused by AR-15s in mass shootings. Now, we're not going to show you any of those images this morning, but we do want to warn you this is a hard story to talk about on this Thursday. Our Natalie Haddad is in the newsroom with more, and you've been combing through this article. Natalie, I know it is a, it's a hard read. That is really just scratching the surface mark of it being a hard read. Now, already there are mixed feelings about this latest Washington Post article. In it, there are never before seen photos of the Robb Elementary School classroom just moments after the shooting. And we want to warn you, this is a difficult story to bring you this morning. And while we are not showing you the photos in the article, we want to warn you that they are deeply disturbing. Now, families of the Uvalde massacre victims have known about this article for some time now. And this week, some parents of the children posted on social media asking the public not to share this Washington Post article and instead to share pictures of their children alive and happy. But there is one parent, Brett Cross, who feels differently. Speaking exclusively with me for WFAA, Brett says he wants the world to see these photos. He tells me why. So it's closing in on two years fast, and we're still shown and given little to nothing. The only information that we get to get is through the media, is through pieces like the Washington Post. You know, our our. City officials aren't giving us anything. Our state isn't giving us anything. You know, the the city and the state they they proven time and time again that they don't care. So, the Rob Elementary School shooting investigation is still ongoing. So many questions on if this will shape the investigation, if at all. Now we want to note: should you choose to read the Washington Post article just released this morning, you will see graphic images, not just from the Robb Elementary School shooting, but other mass shootings as well. Sutherland Springs here in Texas, Vegas, the Aurora movie theater shooting from 2012. Now stay with us. We'll have more details for you at six right here on Daybreak.